Welcome to AwesomeBatteries.com. This is the Club Car President Lithium Battery Conversion Video. This step-by-step -step installation video will show you how to convert your Club Car President from old lead-acid batteries to one single 51.2 volt 160 amp hour extended range lithium golf cart battery by the Summit Battery Group. Your Summit Battery and Installation Kit will ship in heavy-duty cardboard boxes strapped to a pallet via an LTL freight carrier. This is the 51-volt, 160-amp-hour Summit Battery. This high-capacity battery comes in a gunmetal powder-coated steel shell that looks awesome in any vehicle. The installation kit includes the onboard charger and main battery cable replacements. To activate the onboard charger, Summit includes the AC port replacement and cover plate. This is the 48 to 12 volt reducer for your lights and accessories. The 12 volt reducer is an add-on component. Here is the dash mounted battery meter, remote on off button with wiring harness and a powder coated steel mounting bracket. Your Summit battery group installation kit will include mounting hardware and information on the battery, installation components, and warranty. Make sure the key switch is off, the vehicle is in neutral, and put the run tow switch in tow mode. Remove the old lead acid batteries and clean the battery compartment. Use a T40 Torx bit to remove this top mounting screw for the controller panel. This will allow you to pull the panel forward and access the controller and solenoid compartment. To replace the B negative cable at the controller, remove the existing B negative cable with the 13 mm socket. You will see there are several grounds joined together. You will be deleting each of the additional grounds. The bullet connection is the ground for the light wiring harness that's in the battery compartment. Connect the new Summit main negative cable to the B negative port on the controller and tighten to 7.5 foot pounds or 88 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench. To replace the B positive cable, use a 13 millimeter to disconnect the original B positive cable from the solenoid. Note you will need to put an appropriately sized eyelet on the end of the pink wire. Put the new Summit B positive cable in place along with the pink wire and tighten to 6 foot pounds or 72 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench. If you have an older model precedent, you will need to bypass the OBC. There is a link to the OBC bypass video in the description of this video. Perform some wire management, then close and secure the controller access panel. At this point, we're going to remove the trim, floor mat, and dash panel. Using a T40 Torx bit, remove two side trim screws on each side and remove the floor mat. Use a T30 to remove the top rear shell screws. Use a flat tip tool to pop the side clips from the charge receptacle cap. Remove and discard. Remove three T40 screws that hold this front trim panel in place and remove the trim panel. Remove three Phillips head screws along with the charge port and the original charging cables. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove three mounting screws and discard the old charge receptacle housing. Access the dash panel by removing the two side T30 screws and the T15 on top. Let's go ahead and install the battery meter and remote on off button at the dash. The summit wiring harness is too large to route back to the battery compartment with the existing wiring harnesses. So I routed the wiring harness underneath the cart, securing above the bottom of the vehicle's frame. I made a hole behind the front trim panel and ran the harness up into the battery compartment. You will need to create a hole behind the meter 
to route the meter's wiring harness. Use the provided mounting screws to secure the meter's mounting bracket to the dash panel. Plug in and secure the remote on-off button to the mounting bracket. Insert the Summit Battery Group LCD meter. Plug in the LCD display meter's two connections. Then secure the LCD meter to the bracket with the provided bracket and nuts. Before reinstalling the front trim panel, we need to replace the charging port. Use the provided hardware to secure the AC port cover plate to the front trim panel. Next, insert the AC port replacement and secure to the cover plate. Perform wire management of excess wiring and reinstall the front trim panel. Mount the Summit onboard charger anywhere inside the battery compartment using self-tapping screws. Plug in the charger's input wiring harness to the back of the newly replaced AC port. Mount your reducer anywhere inside the battery compartment. Route the 48 volt input wires to the middle of the battery tray. The red and black wires on this voltage reducer is the 48 volt supply. We will be securing them to the battery's terminals. The yellow and black wires on this reducer is the 12 volt supply that we will hook up to our lights and accessories. For the summit reducer, we will hook our 12 volt accessories up to any of the three sets of output wires. To install the Summit Battery Group 160 amp hour battery, we are going to have to adjust the battery compartment slightly. I have marked the areas that I will be trimming with a cutting tool with a white pen. Trimming the outline plastic in these areas will give us plenty of space to mount the battery. We are going to remove the two plastic blocks on the left side and this section of the plastic where the main cables come into the battery compartment. Lastly, we need to cut out the center ridge. Here is a final look at the tray adjustments I made. Set the battery in place and slide it all the way against the passenger side and also to the rear of the battery tray, being cautious of the wiring. Mark the battery's mounting slots, remove the battery, and drill out the marks with an appropriately sized drill bit. Set the battery back into the compartment and use the provided 13 millimeter hardware to secure the battery to the bottom of the battery tray. We will need to go under the cart and cut away any form plastic from around the mounting hardware and secure with the provided washers and nut. You will need assistance with this step. Begin with plugging in the battery meter and the on-off button wiring harness to the COM port. Next, plug in the CAN communication wiring harness from the onboard charger's signal output port to the available port on the battery meter and on-off wiring harness to create a direct communication line between the charger and the battery. Starting with the positive side, go smallest to biggest the biggest cable touching the battery's terminal. The smallest item is the red wire from the voltage reducer. Next is the red wire from the onboard charger. And the final positive wire is the newly replaced main positive cable. Secure to the terminal and tighten to six foot pounds or 72 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Finalize by sliding the red terminal protector in place. Same thing on the negative side, smallest to biggest. The smallest wire is the black wire from the 12 volt reducer, followed by the black wire from the onboard charger, and the final and largest wire is the main negative cable. Secure and tighten with a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench to six foot pounds or 72 inch pounds. Slide the black terminal protector in place to finalize. Turn the battery on by pressing the on-off button at the dash. The power buttons will illuminate and the LCD meter will come to life. Test for cart operation by putting the vehicle in run mode. Turn the key switch to the on position and put the golf cart in forward. 
lightly press the acceleration pedal. Once golf cart operation is confirmed, it is highly recommended to run a complete charge cycle before using the battery. Plug in a heavy duty extension cord into the newly replaced AC port. The charger will activate, run a complete charge cycle, and shut off when finished. While you're waiting for your battery to charge, go ahead and download the Summit Battery Group mobile application on the Android or iOS App Store. Open the app and select your battery. The app will connect to your battery and display the battery status and health information. You will see the state of charge, voltage, discharge and charge currents, power, capacity, life cycle counter, and runtime calculator. Scroll down to see temperature, BMS protection warnings, and charging information. The cell link at the bottom will display the individual cell voltages. The info page has links to advanced diagnostics and settings pages. You will need to contact Summit to access these pages. Thank you for watching the Summit Battery Group 51.2 volt 160 amp hour extended range lithium golf cart battery installation video on a club car precedent. I hope this video answered all of your questions. If you have additional questions, please read this video's description, comment on this video, or contact us directly through awesomebattery.com's website or social media accounts. We are here to help. If you would like to purchase this battery, please visit AwesomeBatteries.com. I've provided the link in this video's description. AwesomeBattery.com ships fast and free at the lowest listed online price. We assist our customers through the purchasing process, installation, and throughout ownership. Please press the like and subscribe buttons. We have more installation and battery information videos releasing on a regular basis. Again. Thank you for watching until the end of the video, and we hope you have an awesome day.